hazard. And so it's a PR gimmick, in my view, uh, to sign that paper and place it there. We saw ministers being interviewed just a few uh, months ago, and some declared 100 million, 50 million, some declared 20 million. Well, as uh, Mr. Weda has said, if you're smart enough, you will know that this is an office of, uh, of influence, and I might just generate 200 million out of it. I'll put 200 million as my asset. Nobody's going to check whether I own this 200 million. So there is a gap there that you cannot say that by the wet declaration you've actually given uh, a watertight information about your wealth. Secondly, on the issue of the president saying life audit will be will start and it will start with me and then who you and then governors and everybody else. Let me tell you, that's a huge statement that every thief in this country will be shivering to the bottom of their bed trying to hide what they've, what they've achieved. But I wish the president would have gone further than that. Not just saying that we will make sure that people, they, I mean, lifestyle audit is done, but then they will say no transfers of asset in the next one month or two months as we do the audit. If not, all these people are now busy transferring their asset to whomsoever they may want. In fact, to foundation. That's the easiest way to put the money. Foundation, non-profit organization, and many others. And perhaps that is taking place today. Now, when I saw one of the members of parliament saying, look, um, <clears throat> I think I like the idea, it's from Reef River, he said, I like the idea of, 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 of lifestyle audit, but now let's go to my father and then my grandfather and then see what happens. It is practically impossible to go to Uhuru's father and start investigating what he acquired and what he did not acquire. He's a second generation or third generation politician from his father who are the founders of this country. That cannot happen. What we are talking about is not even the politicians. Some of them are very wealthy and have stolen money. That's the truth of the matter. But you cannot steal money in this country unless you're working with a public servant. And that public servant is an AIU holder who is authorizing all this money. It is 